Welcome to Pantanal in the western wetlands of Brazil. They say this is the one of the best places to spot wildlife. One of the best places to spot what? Hey! One of the best places to spot. They say this is one of the best places to spot what? Come on, man! The truth is, the Pantanal wasn't even on my radar until I arrived in Brazil. The area encompasses the largest tropical wetlands in the world. It covers about 75,000 square miles on the western border near Bolivia and Paraguay. And it's said to be one of the best places to experience wildlife in South America. From the moment I stepped foot on the grounds of my lodge along the Rio Negro, the abundance of wildlife was awesome. I dropped off my bag and a local guy gave me a game plan before we headed out on a water safari. Besides a few charter boats and local homes, the river was quiet and secluded. It was the perfect place to spot hundreds of bird species, along with caimans, caipivaras, and even a couple of giant river otters making love in the bushes. We cruised along the river until the sun came down before making our way back to camp for a good dinner and a little pool with some fellow travelers to finish off the night. The next morning, we awoke to an absolute downpour. So our plan to trek through the marsh got canceled and we waited out the rain with a few local fishermen. When we saw a break in the action, we helped some neighbors get out of the mud and then decided to drive down to a nearby farm to see how other residents were holding up. A group of guys were passing time with some black label whiskey and cattle stories, so after a few friendly drinks, we headed back to the lodge. Or so we thought. This isn't good. We're stuck in the Pantanal wetlands. They call it wetlands because it rains a lot. This is the result. <laughs> we got it. We're back on the road. <laughs> Luckily, the early afternoon clouds made way for the sun, so it was time to load up the boat again and go learn how to catch a piranha. We anchored along the mangroves and baited the bamboo poles with some raw steak. Piranha fishing is the best for those with very little patience, because if they're in the water, you'll know it pretty quickly. Once you do catch one to keep, it's best to kill it before putting it into the boat, or else you'll run the risk of it jumping around and taking a chunk out of your foot or ankle. After catching enough to feed the whole crew, we returned to the lodge so that the kitchen staff could cook up some piranha soup. And although it was delicious, it did have a bite to it.